great stuff, which is to pick all the plumbing fixtures. We have all the Gluckspin team over here, and uh, we, we're just going to pick away and get some of this really great Kohler product. It's an amazing showroom. We have everything here that you can ever dream of. And we will soon be going to the Callista showroom, where we also have the uh, Ansax tiles and all these great, great, great products. Oh, the Ansax tiles. That's I love that tile. And that's beautiful. This is really nice, yeah. too. So we want to do something different in the laundry room. Okay, Something that people yeah. would not expect. After the excavation, the surveyors come in and they give the outside corners of the house. And from those points, we build the, uh, the footing and do all the interior walls and the basement uh, load-bearing walls that are inside the house. We form them, we clean the inside of the footings, and then we place a reinforcing steel to give it extra strength. The rebar is way overdone, it's way overdesigned. Our footings are 13 inches high. They're typically 36 inches wide. Even though we have such good soil, we've had a soil engineer here, we have soil samples, we have concrete samples of the concrete we're pouring. So the whole process follows very much like a, like a commercial project. This is what we do for our clients. You do footings all the time, is this normal? Is this how everybody does the footings? No, only PCM. Never <laughs> seen footings like this in my life. <laughs> haven't, you, haven't you done 10-story buildings? Oh yeah, for buildings, yeah, but not for uh, residential. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way you do it. Wouldn't you do the same if you were building your own house? Yeah. If you were building your own house, would you do it? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. You've said it all then. Yep. Oh, that's what they did last year. Yeah, that's what we did last oh, few years. Did that's what we've done over the last few years. Yeah, like I just said. So this is a new, new era. So then all the upstairs are hardwood except for the bathrooms. That's where they get tile. And then this can come down also. So you get a nice staircase. So we can. It's a great opportunity to do a feature yeah. along here. It's going to be a beautiful home, and. Uh, Great features, landscaping's on track, framing's on track, uh, the whole the project's on track. Um, un unfortunately, we had a little bit dip in the weather, but other than that, everything is uh, running smoothly. I think either in here or in here, we may align the inside with stone and do shelves, we'll have towels. PCM, it's been amazing working with them. It's one of the builders that uh, we've never experienced anything like this before, where everything's on track, all the schedules are on track. We're, we're two weeks ahead of schedule and things are moving really quickly. We're in a great area of, uh, of Oakville and uh, I think it's going to be great for the entire team and Princess Margaret and, and uh, the foundation and, and everyone involved. All the, all the plumbing fixtures being supplied by Kohler from the mid-level to the, the high level of, uh, of Kohler and Callista also featuring one of their, their brand new toilets, the new me, the new me toilet, uh, which is basically it's automatic. All you need to do is just sit Relax and, you're <laughs> and the rest of it is taken care of by the newbie toilet. The critical points are all being taken care of. Gluckstein team is amazing. They, they give us information timely and uh, everything is moving along just the way we like it. I mean, it's very, very good. Their style is really very, I should say, sophisticated but very elegant. And it's, gonna, it's really been a very, very enjoyable project. Uh, I really mean that. We've settled today on overall design and it's going to be one hell of a beautiful landscaping package, just uh, like Koivik does every time. I'm very, very excited over this house. I mean, the, the Kohler, the Callista, Gluckstein, the location, the home. It's just going to be a very, very, very sweet home. I'm going to be very jealous of whoever wins this house. It's going to be amazing. PCM, the way it should be done. This is calendar week 10, and on calendar week 10, we are right on target. We have actually just passed the HVAC inspection, that's for heating and air conditioning. 
and gas lines. We are also past the plumbing. The duct that you see here is all 26 gauge, it's typical for the, for the commercial jobs. Inside the ductwork, you cannot really tell right now, you cannot see it, but, but those ducts are lined with the, with the acoustic liner. If you have a Ferrari or Porsche or whatever little uh, sports car you have for the summer, you can keep it up there for the winter. We do all the trim, we're looking at all the paneled arches, the windows, the baseboards. But the doors is the first thing that gets ordered because those got to be manufactured because they're custom. We're going to have a study here, a two-story study with a walkway around. So we're going to have a library on top of the study. And uh, again, with another wood-burning fireplace, it's going to be just beautiful and gorgeous. This is why uh, guys like Brian Gluckstein and his team uh, are what they are. I mean, they, do these, they come up with these great ideas and this is really nice. This is really, really, really nice. It's the first time we do this. Uh, in this area we'll do um, like 12 inches or 14 inches rather, a step all the way around, crown molding. This comes in the casing and that comes in the casing depth on um, this one as well. And then that way when we bring that one in, we can actually have a, an arch. And then all this would just be our cabinetry. So a tower on the left and right of the fireplace. So you do a chandelier on this side and a chandelier there. This is really sharp. So then the the glass will come across here and then that way. And then the same on the other side. It's really nice. This is a house I wish I would win or I wish I could buy tickets for. <laughs> PCM, the way it should be done. Instead of having a, uh, a trust roof, we have a hand cut roof. By having a hand cut roof, even though we incur a huge amount of labor, it allows us then the flexibility to really frame the ceilings uh, you know, as high as we want and, and really do all the decorative items that you should do on a home like this. We have two furnaces in this house, two systems. That's what we usually do for uh, houses that are four and over 4,000 square feet. That gives you two controls, usually second floor is done with one furnace, first floor and the basement with the second. Many, many builders does it with one big furnace, one big air conditioner to reduce the cost but it doesn't work as efficiently. Over there we have the, the mechanical room for the main floor in the basement, and then we have another mechanical room on the other side of the house for the second floor. So we have dedicated systems for, for each floor, which is also another luxury feature. Most houses don't even have air conditioners, never mind having two of them. We try to design the ductwork in such a way that, that the designer can nicely, nicely finish put the nice Coffer ceilings, so let's say we have a supply duct on one end and symmetrically returner duct on the other one. And we don't create any, any restriction in a duct because the way we set the furnace, the furnace is right in the center of both of them, so we don't affect the airflow, but we, we make it easy for designers and for the homeowners to have a beautiful basement. When you build the house, when the framers frame the house, uh, very often we have to pass to some areas where they have a beam. Those beams are in the way of my ductwork. Very often people just come below, make a risers, fittings, restrict the air. With PCM, before we do the house, we have a meeting with the carpenters. So we discuss it, let's say we need some free passage for, for the ductwork. What we do in these houses is we have all the air supplies going in the ceiling of the, or the attic and then do the supplies that way. That way we eliminate any pipe work from the main floor ceiling, thus allowing us to, to do whatever ceiling designs that we would like to do. You take the clutter away from the place where you want to do your painting. That's what we're doing, putting it all up there. It's also more expensive, but that's why luxury homes are more expensive. PCM, the way it should be done. What mix of stone is this stand? It's a, it's a taiga, taiga, Algonquin, 
times. Yeah, and it's all Canadian, right? It's, yeah. yeah, it's 100 percent Canadian stone, yeah. Which is a very nice mix. And, uh, and then with the dark stucco, it, it makes a beautiful contrast. Where we have uh, stucco moldings, the, the base of it is a cement block. So we don't do a cheap little uh, wood frame. We have the wood frame behind it for the house, and then we do a proper frame in cement block, to which we then apply the stucco. This will last two, 300 years. Whereas the other stuff that a lot of people do, probably lasts 10 or 15 before you gotta start doing maintenance on it. It's a great layout with the garage. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just so fabulous. He did a great job because you don't see the garage from the front of the back. Better because I don't like to see garages in the front yeah. of the houses. Yeah, yeah. terrible. Mm -hmm. And with this, you don't even notice that That's right. the garage is there. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about this layout is all your rooms really have windows. You don't have a garage at the That's front. Right, that yeah. You lose your windows. So your library mm -hmm. and your living room have the windows. All this has windows. Mm -hmm. Like really, the area that's at the side of the house where you don't want the windows yeah. is where your garage is. It's right. like a perfect, yeah. perfect layout. So this is our first project for Princess Margaret and it's uh, quite exciting because you're really able to experiment and do things in a house like this. I think we should get rid of the pot lights on the angles. So then are you going to light this room? I think we just have big lanterns hanging from those two junction boxes on either side uh -huh. of the sconces. I always love libraries. Libraries are my favorite spaces, and I love two-story libraries. I have a two-story library. I love it. But I think we're going to have some fun with uh, the main hall that goes through the house. I think we're going to have some fun with that. We're going to need something out here, too, either right here or way out in the garden. So when you look right through, there's something lit up. That's where you're going to have the glass floor, right? Right where you're standing? You have the, the holes here, so the glass floor is going to be like this. To our wine area? To the wine cellar, correct. That'll be interesting for yeah. people to see. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, how much weight can we hold from those junction boxes? I don't know. That should be it. There you go, Baccarat. Yes. I, I think what's amazing is the time frame. I mean, able to, we're able to build a house like this, of this quality and this design level in such a comprehensive, compressed time. So I think that's really a testament to Carlos, the builder, is able to schedule everything and really plan everything before construction so that everything goes in in a timely fashion. I think that's one of the key things to this project. That's 14, week 14 project. Can't believe week. it. But that's we fast. We are supposed to be priming and prone molding and that's exactly where we are. It's unbelievable. Fast. PCM, the way it should be done. Yeah, looks good. It's going to be nice. Very nice. We are standing in this year's 2013 Grand Prize Home for the Princess Margaret Cancer Center. This is a lottery home, which is really built with PCM standards, thanks to the design of the Gluckstein team. They're well organized. They have uh, very good people with, within the team, which is really important. The whole home is ready, there's been no, uh, of course inside we're still decorating, we're still going to be doing final touches. I think this is, this is a cool idea, this would make a great photo shoot for house and home, how to hide the TV in the whole picture wall. So we've got big crown moldings everywhere, but we've done step drywall. So it's a little more contemporary way to highlight ceilings without making them too elaborate. The tub is cooler, the sink's cooler, there's a very cool toilet, very cool faucets. Uh, people are going to be wowed by this bathroom. But I love the lighting in this fridge. And the appliances are so sleek. The speed oven and the wall oven, like really beautiful, seamless appliances. My God, like we're so ahead of time. It's really unbelievable. Yeah. When it comes to our partner PCM on the construction, it is, I can't believe this house was built this fast. And with the quality of the house, I mean, when you go around the house, you'll see the incredible quality of the house. This beautiful house was built and landscaped on time. Actually, it's probably a little before we're, we're supposed to be finished. So it's unbelievable. We sit in the office and we're like, how did that house get built in that time frame? Because wherever you look, there's lots of detail. Paneled walls and inlaid floors. It really is a testament to organization that they were able to build the house in this time. Stay tuned for the launch in September. Uh, it will be something amazing. It will be something truly unique. It will be extremely unique, actually, in Oakville. This will be the most beautiful, most Wanted home in Oakville. I have no doubt of that. 
PCM, the way it should be done. Welcome to the 2013 Princess Margaret Grand Prize Show Home in Oakville. This is a real PCM home and it was built the way we like to build homes. We like to pay a lot of attention to a lot of details. For example, these floors have all been rectified. They are perfect. When you're walking on them, you feel as if you're walking in Granada, Spain. It's actually the same materials and it's actually very, very beautiful. And we are just, it's just gorgeous. We have stone on the floors, on the walls, everywhere. We have this piano finish on the arches. This is a beautiful detail. So if you stand here, this is a picture of Versailles, and if you stand right here in front of the mirror, it looks as if you're really in Versailles. Look at that. This is the drama. This is where it needs it. So you've got hallways and, and rooms that have big walls. Wherever you look, there's lots of detail. Like the refrigerator and the dishwasher are completely concealed, and then the wall ovens are so beautiful. So they're not sort of clunky appliances. They're very streamlined and, and very elegant appliances. And then our sink, which is that beautiful sink from, from Kohler. So here you've got your Miele coffee center in this area, and then this exposure to the wine cellar, which I think is going to be a lot of fun for people, especially the kids are going to love looking at that. The wine cellar has this beautiful detail. We have this peak gravel, so that if ever a bottle falls down, it will not break and the pea gravel will kind of hold it beautifully. Now look at this, how grand that is, as the perfect proportion for the stair hall. Had it been just a small fixture, I think it would look so out of proportion. And that's where the drama comes in the house. Big pieces, dramatic colors, things like that. And then of course, we have the best plumbing fixtures ever. We actually have a lot of clothes in this house. This is all very high-end color. This is the best that Kohler has. Here we have another beautiful shower. It's all Callista, uh, all by Kohler. Just gorgeous stuff. This is all the old way, very precise. If you were to hold one of those pictures in your hand, you'd realize it's very heavy. It's real brass and it's just, it's just gorgeous. And here we have a vibro acoustic tub. Here we have a very special toilet by Kohler. It's a toilet bidet. It's self-cleaning. It uh, realizes if you're a man or a woman. Right there you have the air return grills, They're all custom made, they all built into the drywall. The next step with the SOM, I hopefully it will be that they will sell a lot of tickets and raise a lot of money for cancer research. It's for me, it's a, it's a very good cause, it's, it's probably the best cause ever, it's very close to my heart. I think the most important part of the whole process is Princess Margaret Hospital and it is, you know, the world famous hospital. People come from all over the world, we're so fortunate to have it here in Canada. And to be able to do this and help raise funds for Princess Margaret has been an incredible experience and I think that's what motivated everybody. Whatever we do to, to, to fight cancer and get rid of that dreadful disease, it's helpful for everybody. PCM, the way it should be done.